for a formation start in Canada between the two Ferraris? Are there strategies at play between the two BMW Williams? What will happen on this run down to this incredibly tight first corner? Turn up the sound and enjoy because we are racing at Nürburgring and the two Williams are away well. Nothing special by Schumacher yet. One of the Renaults on the inside going very strongly and they're two abreast down the run and look at this. As the two Ferraris dive inside each other, one of the Renaults goes up the inside, four abreast, four abreast into the first corner. Has anybody made contact? Miraculously not, but look at the two Williams. Really hammer and tongs. Oh, and it's at the back. You can see the Jordans have collided with one of the VARs. Indeed, and uh, I think it was Coulthard had a great slingshot down and uh, moved up into third, has now slipped back. That's Raikkonen in amongst the Renault, so the Jordans tripping over each other, but I think the Ferraris have regained their position. Indeed, we've got a Ferrari in second place. We've got Montoya down to third place because Ralph Schumacher has taken the lead. Michael Schumacher is in fourth place. Rubens Barrichello from fourth on the grid has leapt up to the front, and look at this, he's going down the inside of Ralph into the Castrol hairpin. He must be running a lighter fuel load. We've got real team strategies at play here. The two Ferraris against the two Williams. This is very interesting. Yes, but that's an incredible amount of extra performance Barrichello's had, but we did see in the warm-up this morning, Ferrari, a second. And look, Michael Schumacher going for third. Montoya covering the line, saying, I'll have none of that. But the Ferraris are very, very lively. Can Montoya keep Schumacher behind him until his car and particularly his tyres stabilise? Well, there is a big performance difference to be had from carrying a different amount of fuel. Look at Michael, though, down the inside of the Vidal Chicane. He designed this corner and he's made it work for him. He passes one Montoya for third place and Montoya's coming back at him around the outside and the McLaren is getting involved as well. Side by side through the last corner. What a first lap. An amazing first lap. Absolutely, so the two Ferraris with grip to spare then, waltzing off, both of them have passed a Williams at least in that lap, and uh, look, the two McLarens also, uh, and the Renaults, they're all, all the Michelin runners are close, but nothing like the pace of those leading, or the, the leading Ferrari, and now you'll see Michael Schumacher very quickly homing in on the back of his brother. Fourth, Coulthard fifth, here's the start again. And look, you'll see the Jordans get together, and there's a half spin, from, I would assume, Fisichella, who was the second Jordan on the start. Fisichella goes in too deep. The, look, Coulthard was up to third at that point, but the Ferraris came back at him and are so, so close. There's the Jordans are going to get together. Yes, indeed, Fisichella lost it and tagged his teammate. It looked to me, as you can see, that Fisichella has damaged this front wing. It looked to me on that tight replay as though uh, Montoya and Ralph touched at the front. They were really close together. They were indeed. How much has Ralph Schumacher made up? Well, we said he was a bit feisty in that corner, and this time, uh, too feisty. Look, strange one, actually. Lost the back end of the car on the way in. Not often you see that uh, nowadays. Obviously, traction control doesn't work in that situation. It's a control of power, and the power is off at that point. And he's just launched the car in. And I tell you what, he's as surprised as we are with that one. That absolutely caught him out, and there was no early signs of that whatsoever. High tyre wear here, we know. Look too badly worn, I must say. Now the fuel hose is on, then no problem so far. Just getting a bit of rubbish out of those radiators. Now he's off 8.6 seconds. And, and Raikkonen really both urgently need to get past Montoya. 1 minute 36s is, is a very slow pace. Slower, in fact, than most of the 10 runners behind them. And David Coulthard looks like he's having a move now around the outside. Can he make it stick into this new turn one? Late on the brakes, David. Late on the brakes, round the oh! Broken his steering. Yeah, and uh, Montoya dropped it and just tagged Coulthard as he went past. And a broken steering and a broken left rear suspension also. Both cars. The uh, There he goes, Coulthard out of the race. So Montoya and Coulthard both out of the race. The first two retirements this afternoon. Well, absolutely. And we, we heard about this first corner. All the drivers predicting carnage at the start. It didn't happen. We had a nice clean start, although the two Williamses did get very close together. And strangely enough, on lap 28, we have our first incident down at Turn 1. And that's really, really unfortunate for David Coulthard, who's been driving absolutely beautifully so far. I don't know if that's a sarcastic round of applause for Montoya for his actions. It I is think indeed. it is, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him, actually. Yeah, it's... It's got to go down as a racing incident, really. I mean, David putting a move down the outside. He's giving Montoya the hurry-up. Montoya's probably his 
his attention just slightly taken goes in too deep did he tag the curb on the inside it's just lifted the back end of his car around let's see did he just he just clipped the curb and and just popped the car into a lazy spin and Coulthard really I think blameless in that but you can't really point a big finger at Montoya and say that was a, a bad driving error I think that's just the uh, a racing incident where two drivers are trying to match it out on the way into a tiny apex this marks the fuel hose is attached no problems more used michelins go on that williams now it's a long hose time of course because it's a one stop he's away no problems yeah with david coulthard in fact david um juan pablo blamed that accident on his tires but whatever the reason he must be spitting yeah he clearly had problems with his tires and i you know i knew it was a risk to uh, to go around the outside congratulations no points for either of us Space. You know, my car is fun. It's fun. I know that. You hit me. I know. You think I don't know that? Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Carry on. Um, well, as you said, he, he's fun. You know, he's fun. But uh, you know, things happen. But uh, if I hadn't been in the outside, clearly he wouldn't hit me. But if I wasn't trying to race, then I wouldn't be a racing driver. You know, I I, I knew it was going to be tight because he had more straight line speed. But I thought I'd give him room on the inside, and then maybe I can pass him into turn two. But, uh, as he says, he, he lost his back end, and I, and I was in the way, so... Lovely to hear that exchange between Montoya and David Coulthard there. Martin, are racing drivers normally as polite to each other as that? And now uh, that one, I think, might run for a little while as well, uh, behind closed doors. Alan McNish comes in from 10th place, a very creditable 10th place for him, to make his second stop of the afternoon. And a lot of question marks about him for next season. Will he hold on to...